Welcome back to the show. Hi. Shall we continue? I'm gonna go down to the basement. Can I help you? Oh, for fuck. Oh. I was just here. Can I help you, Dave? Yeah. You can point me to a... A moment of your time. Bow. Do you not hear spend the chat? We're right fucking here. Come on now. You can help me find a better game. That was why I was right. Are you say. fucking kidding me? You actually don't like it? Do, like do you want? Do you want to stop? Like, okay, oh, we'll just stop. Like we'll just no, it. stop it. Then shut My up. Apologies. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. Let's. Uh, can you guys help me pack? Shit, I don't want. That's too so bad. Too fucking bad. Actually. I mean, I don't mind working through this guy's. This guy's, you know, his his, his plot narrative or whatever. Mm. It, it's probably got some interest to it. Yeah. No. Okay, so basically there was a stolen book from the archives. The books can't leave the archive. We've got to go find the book and see what the oh. fuck happened to it. An impregnable vault, a disappearing tomb, quite the mystery on our hands. Let's go solve it already. Because for fuck's sake, the cutscenes in this game take forever. And this is not like a case of us getting old or something. No, no, no. I can go back and play Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy IV even. And the cutscenes... They're enjoyable. Indeed. These ones seem to be like wrapped up in their own spectacle a bit too much. Like, gotta watch the pixel art jut as the guy opens his arms and then be like, indeed. And then like, like, look how long this is taking. It's foppish. Leave it to me. You could have just said that. <laughs> Leave it to me and that would have been okay. Yeah. Take care. Right, I have to go look in the palace, whatever. Time to do something. And the game is a foot. Oh, okay. Fuck off. <laughs> like, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, you just talked to her. The guard at the front door would know. And he's right there. Oh, wait. What? Oh, he has, his action is scrutinize. Get extra information from. We get age 41 details testimony. Gotta keep the air because I wasn't sleeping. I just my eyes. If I wasn't, it wouldn't matter. Kind of cool, but I was gonna watch too many anyway. He has a key. He knows. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. You can, like, investigate. Yeah. Okay, this is neat. This is neat. This is neat. <laughs> he's, like, Phoenix raiding this shit, man. And the headmaster. Actually, he's more, he's more like, like, and the guard. Yeah. The, the headmaster and the guard have the key, and that's it. Go till three. Till three. Hours. Yeah, that's, that's not a problem. That's fine. I mean, <sighs> let's go interrogate the the headmaster, who obviously fucking did it. If if I was playing this on my own, I'd be able to get through. Like I I, I can, I'm a very fast reader. Yes, yeah, so I, I. I can get through cutscenes like, you know, I I'm I'm very very. Dude, like, he has the green. Of course he does. He's an asshole. Let's see now. You know, you know, full lab of key to special archives, and I would never be so foolish as to... The dust gathered upon it, he hasn't used it lately. Okay. okay. Which means it has to be the guard. All the information you need to solve the case. The headmaster and the guard, yeah. But of course! <laughs> okay. This is neat. This part. Only two keys to the archives. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Whose key was used? The guards. Because the headmaster he fell asleep was anyways. dusty. Safety okay. walked away. He's obviously an idiot. The guard's been sleeping. Oh. oh. Is the guard our man? Probably not. He doesn't understand the value of the books. Uh, no. So it's probably... It's, uh, it's the Russell, Russell guy who... Who, who has debts. Yes. 
Hello. Gambling debt. Which okay. me? Fucking Russell. He's the yes. only one. The Shifty Scholar. It is pretty dull, but it's also like the kind of dull that I like. I like a good grind sometimes. Well, I just feel so like a, mysteries are fine. It, it hits the spot for like a good JRPG grind. Uh, it's called Octopath because there's eight stories. Oh. Is that his hideaway? Yeah. Ooh. Wait, isn't this where we... Now then. This time I did some feel like of my own. And this is where, this is where our, our merchant girl comes in. They're going to find myself to investigate this scholar. Come along. All right. Mystery, still me talking to Ariel. I'll be glad for your help. Like business that we find Russell's laboratory down below. All right. Cyrus joined the party. Yeah. Save it, save it, save it. Yeah. Fuck it yeah. Right I'm just running in circles on about. Do you want to go buy him some equipment or something? Are we ever going to play this game again? <laughs> what the, you even said that you wanted to... I know, yeah. I'm joking. You wanted to keep going when it went to I'm, jo I'm joking. <laughs> Do you guys think we should keep playing this after the, like, when it actually comes out? This is just a demo. He uses staffs. And you know what? The quartz rod's pretty good. So is the other staff, too. I'm what about the one you can't afford? $8,000, yeah. It's not, it's not even that much better, either, is it? Let's see. But I have to, I should probably buy him a better robe, as well. Call it the legend of eight really swell dudes. Anything but fucking Octopath Traveler. Yeah, I guess, huh? Also, we have like two casters as our team right now. It's not really a good idea. Because Tress is not really a physical fighter. She's a merchant. Mm, no, she, no, she's she's like a... She's, she's like, uh, like a dragoon. I only have enough for the light staff. Unless... Unless... You can sell all your old junk... Actually, yes, I can. It's not worth much, but fuck it. Every penny counts, Dave. Yes, sir. You have to go full screen to read all the text? Are you watching it like on a phone or something? Or, or like, I guess on your PC, yeah. Uh, Cassius Burger has eight classes. Um, we have the Scholar and the Merchant right now. There's also the Dancer, the Warrior, the Thief, the Hunter. Mm -hmm. And who else is there? So close, can I close yes. try? Dancer, warrior, thief, hunter, scholar, merchant. Who's the last two? Uh, is there a cleric in there? Yeah, there's a cleric. There's a cleric, and who's the last one? Like a wait, is it, is it like a rogue? There's a rogue. No, you're a thief. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, so yeah, thief, hunter. Here you go. Cleric, scholar, merchant, warrior, dancer, oh, apothecary, the apothecary, thief, and hunter. Yeah, apothecary. Yeah. That's right. This is more of a play game than a watch game. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Cinadil, this is a Switch exclusive. This game is only on the Switch, man. So close. And Dave's real happy that I bought a Switch now. I was happy you bought a Switch when you got Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it was a good game. You played like 100 hours of that game. It was man. a great game. <laughs> One of the best games I've ever played. Did you feel like you it was the, the experience was diminished by doing it on the show? Like, Would you have rather played it off the show? or? No, actually, I I think I actually, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Well, so did I. It was really fun. <laughs> Dude, we, we did like a hundred, okay. Those of you who didn't watch it, our, our playthrough of Breath of the Wild on YouTube is like 180 videos. To be honest, I think, I, fucking I think in, in, in a way, in a way, I'm not saying totally because I did play it uh, yeah. enough off show to, to gain an appreciation for it, but I think uh, in a way I did appreciate it more doing with the community. Yeah. Because we got... We had we had uh, McLaughlin giving us a lot of hints, yeah. and we had comments, and uh, we had a lot of really funny moments, like when you jump in that spike pit, like a retard. <laughs> E3 uh, finished. Yes, it uh, it finished on Tuesday. We did we did. Oh, you look great. Okay, now that we're actually in the dungeon, getting into fights, presumably. There's a fight right there. Yep, sure do. Uh, is Mr. Floppy Knicker still here? Because if he is, I will tell you the story that we didn't tell like an hour ago. Floppy Knickers, there you are. Oh. Let's do this. 
you still want to hear it, Floppy Neckers? More Pokemon and Paper Mario and Kingdom Hearts and Magic Fury. Okay. Pokemon. Um, it's getting really warm again. We're going to try and do it on, on only the colder days. Paper Mario on hold because my N64 is currently getting modded. Kingdom Hearts. We were supposed to do it last night, but I had a massive fucking breakdown in my sound equipment for the show and we had to do something else. I fixed it since then. We'll do it next week. Banjo Tooie's fucking done. We're done with it. We beat so it like done. a year and a half ago. We beat Banjo Tooie on the channel. So goddamn it. How is it having two characters now? Easier. <laughs> There's like a. Yeah, like, mm. In that case, not that easy. Can you imagine being in this cave with only Cyrus, like as your starting character? Because they're, they're not weak to his abilities. That's still pretty good. Yeah, it's still pretty good. Yeah. I'm and cool we're not gonna 100 percent now. Fuck off. <laughs> we're not gonna 100. Dynasty guys, Stark, give your balls a tug. We're not gonna do it. And we're not playing the Raven. Go away. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, dude. Quad strike with a staff. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a D and D monk. Okay, floppy neckers. Here's what happened on on, on D and D. Okay. Here's that on D and D. Jesus Christ. Um, so we, the party was going hunting with Prince Emmerich because Prince Emmerich and, and Grandmaster Braden and the, the Archbishop whatever, I forget his name, wanted Rodiger. to see, they wanted to see our fighting skills because he did not believe that there were two people. Uh, when are you going to finish Muramasa? Oh God, that's an old one. We should at some point. Eventually, yeah. Sure, Chan, did you go back and watch Muramasa? Shit, man. Okay. Uh, guys, sorry. I'm, I'm going to ignore comments until I can get the story out, because it's actually kind of a long story. So, he, he wanted us to go in and uh, and hunting with them so we could show off all of our, all of our various skills, because um, the Archbishop couldn't believe that two people... Because in Sargon's world that, that he made, um, it was very rare for people to have magical abilities. So, the idea... The idea that, you know, both Uzulu and V had holy power was like like a, a one in a million chance. Like you don't usually find that many people with, with magic. It's like like a once in a generation thing, people who have magic and so on. So there was two of them, it was, it was, oh geez, something's going on here. So we, we went hunting with the, with, with the Prince Emmerich, just to, and Prince Emmerich is basically like the fucking Chad. He has like the big chin and he's like just boisterous and stupid. He's like the Prince Valiant. And he, and he likes to fight. Um, so it was the situation where um, we just were going hunting to show off our skills. So we're all riding out and we find a boar and the boar like takes off. And then it was Arch, Uzulu and the Prince in one party going straight. Grandmaster Brayden and I were on the right and V and the, and the Archbishop were on the left. Okay, and we're going in like a pincer move, right? Well, we catch up to the boar, eventually. Uh, the, the middle party catches catch up to the boar. And the boar gets away because there's a giant dire bear that, that they bump into instead. And there were, like, there were four knights with... There were four knights with us, and two of them got destroyed by the fucking bear. But, like, a dire bear is, like, 20... It's, like, a, just a, basically a big horned bear. It's, like, 20 feet long and 8,000 pounds. dire wolf. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's where he got it from. It's this huge, it's this huge fucking bear. And meanwhile... V and I and our guys were off onto the side, so we're actually like six turns away from, from the party. So it takes six turns to actually get to where the, the battle's happening. So it's just it's the prince, the four knight NPCs that die really quickly, and uh, and Arch and Uzulu fighting a fucking dire bear. And this dire bear is like killing guys left and right, just like smashing them. Uzulu, for his level, is really overpowered because paladins have some skills uh, at low levels that make them, like, they, they kind of, they balance out at higher levels, but paladins at low levels are really overpowered, so Uzulu's, like, basically dealt, like, 40 damage to the bear, then 40 damage to the bear, and it had, like, 125 damage, so it, it basically almost killed it. Um, but, we kill, the, we kill the dire bear, okay? And then there's a cave. And it's like, do you want to go into the, the dire bear's cave and 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 see what, what's going on in the cave? Like, well, okay. 
And like the archbishop's like, I'm not going in there. I'm just gonna hang out with, with the bear, okay? <laughs> So, like the dead bear. So the four of us go in there, right? We start exploring. V has like his shirt lit up with his holy spell. I, I have a torch out and I'm looking around. Um, I go off in one direction by myself. The rest of the party goes in another direction. One direction. Okay. Fuck off. In the other direction. Oh, is it? Can you go that way? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Actually, you might, you might want to like grind a little bit too once you get. Yeah, I'm on to it. No, but he's still level one, right? No, he's not. Level two? It's like level three now. Well, still. Like, there's a save point right here on a merchant. Might as well grind up a little bit, like you did last time. But okay, okay. So there's the situation where I'm off on one side of the bear, and then there's like, you have the party's over there. And the, and the party hears a roar. So, like, okay, there's obviously another bear in this cave. Right? And I'm just like, okay. Sorry, level four. It's my turn. So I'm like, I gotta save people. So I like run. As far as, because monks can run faster than everyone else, I go as fast as I can over towards the um, the fight. And well, I happen to like run right into the bear. I like run ahead of everybody else and like, and the dire bear shows up and it's like, I'm the only target in range. And in fact, the, the Chiron is not wide enough for him to get around me. So he has to kill me to get to the rest of the party. Mm -hmm. So he fucking like, he takes off two thirds of my health in one attack. I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to die. So I eventually managed, like, er, like, the, like as, as the battle goes and the party forms up, and if you get into a big fight, I kind of back off a bit. And then, finally, I have a chance to move up, because I'm, I'm, like, behind the line. And then, like, some guy gets injured, he has to back off, so I can move in again to fight. So I move in. Actually, no, what happened is that um, one, one, of the, one of the nameless knights gets bit. And, like, um, a bite attack from a dire bear is a grapple, so he can't fight anymore. He's just in, he's just in the bear's mouth getting bit. So I can move into his spot. So I move into his spot, and I strike twice with my melee weapon because I can use I can use two attacks. Then I can also deal unarmed attacks as a bonus action as a monk. So I I, I go a staff for like ten, staff for like ten. I unarm for about four. Then I spend a key point. I use flurry of blows, unarmed again for like six. So that's thirty damage in one turn. And then I spend another key point. And I use um, uh, open hand technique, I think it's called, which means that the bear has to has to make a dexterity saving throw, or else it gets knocked prone. So I end up like punching a bear and grappling a fucking eight thousand pound bear and tossing him on his ass, and it throws the knight in his mouth like out of out of the mouth, and like he just goes flying across the cave. So ritualist does this artwork of like. This huge bear, right? And there's like my fucking fat, obese, like 10 foot wide, like black monk who's just like a ball, like grappling the bear. <laughs> it's like a ridiculous fucking piece of artwork. And so I ended up, I ended up basically being able to throw a bear. And the prince is like, holy shit. <laughs> Cause I threw the, I, I, who, who can say that you actually wrestle with a bear? It was, like, it was like a four ton bear. Yeah, an eight ton bear. Really? Isn't, isn't a ton a thousand pounds? Two thousand pounds. Is it two th okay, it was a four ton bear then. Yeah. So yeah. And I was like, this is awesome, but I forgot to use patient defense. I had an opportunity to spend one more key point and use patient defense, which allows me to have advantage on all attacks against me. So he would act, so, so that if the bear tried to attack me, he would actually be, um, he would actually be at disadvantage if I use patient defense. Uh, but I forgot to do it. So the bear gets up, because it's the bear's turn next. He gets up and he immediately grapples me with his mouth. And so I'm at two HP and I'm sitting in the bear's mouth. <laughs> All right? And like everyone else attacks the bear, attacks the bear, attacks the bear. And then like, what ends up happening is they kill the bear and the bear goes to fall. And I have to like, I have to get out of a dexterity saving throw or else the bear's jaws will snap shut when it hits the ground and just kill me. So I was at two HP. So I had, and I got like a 22 on the roll, so I like, I like bounced out of his mouth and I was like near death. It was it was a great fight. However, um, the one thing I planned to do, if, if we hadn't killed him and, I, and it came around to my turn, one thing that monks can do that no other class can do is fight while grappling. Hmm. Like if, if you're like a, a fighter or, or a whatever and someone grapples you or like a target grapples you, it means that like they have your arms. 
So you can't cast spells and you can't use a melee weapon, right? Yeah. But a monk unarmed attack is considered any... Can, can be used with any part of the monk's body. So you can use the head, you can use like the elbow, you can use the, the foot, the leg, the knee. You can use any part of your body that's free, you can still unarmed attack. So if you're in a bear's jaws and it has like your arms pincered, I'm still able to use my unarmed strikes using my legs. So I can still actually unarmed, and I, and I was going to like, I wanted to have like a fight with the bear where like I'm kicking the shit out of it and I end up killing it while I'm in its mouth. That would have been fucking amazing, but they ended up killing it before I could do that. Bastards. Yeah. Good night, Kirchan. Thanks for showing up, man. Thanks for being here. So anyway, we uh, we kill the second dire bear. We figure out there were like a male and female. We get three dire bear cubs. Let's All right. Do this. All right. Um, Grand Inquisitor Brayden gets one. No, 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 Grand Grand Master Brayden gets one. He gets one for the Inquisition. Um, the Prince gets one for himself. He has like a little bear pet. And then I try to like tame the third one. So I use my animal, my animal, um, it's not animal husbandry, it's animal, what is it called? Not animal companionship, not animal husbandry. It's an animal skill, basically. I use that. And I, I roll like a critical fail. And, and the fucking, the cub hates me and like, and bites me and I take a point of damage and I'm, and I'm animal handling. So I'm on, I'm on one HP, I'm at critical now. And I'm like, listen, you have to heal, you have to heal me or else I'm gonna bleed out and die because this fucking bear cub just bit my finger. <laughs> stupid shit. Wait, you, don't, you have a, don't you have a, you have a, animal pal handling, you have a paladin with you, can't he just like, you, they, don't they have any kind of spells? They do, but no, no, no. Um, well, we use a ball for healing in, in the previous fight. All of it. All of it. Like, yeah, the pilot had completely spent all of his healing for Lay on Hands. Because um, how it works in D&D is that Lay on Hands, you can heal uh, an amount of HP equal to five times your level. So he was level five, he had 25 health he could heal with Lay on Hands. Um, v had um, a healing spell, but you can only. But if it's a spell, you can only use it so many times. He had, he had like three healing spells, he used up all three, and he had to rest for the day to, to get more back. Hmm. So he had no healing anymore. It was All the healing was gone. I'm like, listen, I'm gonna fucking die out here from a, from a, a, a bite from a bear cub oh. on my finger. What's going on? I can use my JP to actually learn skills. Oh, neat. You can just like put your J... Okay, this is like the, the skill level up, isn't it? Does each character have... Is it like a, a combined JP pool? Probably. Okay, so you have to actually choose who you want. Well, this is good because it's you're curing everything. You're watching that D&D session, good memes. It was fun, man, it was fun. So it turns out that, that Uzulu and Arch got this, this bear cub for our party. And now, so the, the bear's hanging out with us in the tent. And okay. uh, S Sargon doesn't want any player characters to have nature magic. So no rangers and no druids. It's because not, it's not uh, shared, by the way. Oh, it's not? Okay, no. great. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a situation where just the religion of, of the time doesn't allow nature magic. So there is, um, in a recent D&D 5e expansion, there's a magicless ranger variant. So I can play a ranger without magic. I get like a, a, a beast companion and I, I learn how to, to like apply like herbs to, to heal people and stuff. It, it basically allows you to play a ranger without magic. Um, so if I ever have to die and, and re-roll, I'm gonna re-roll a ranger. And if I have to choose a pet, I'm gonna choose Arch's bear and have him be my pet. <laughs> <laughs> Because because Arch now has like a dire bear cub that's just kind of hanging. Like, he's too small to fight. He's hanging out in the tent and he's like just chilling with us. Yeah. And it's like, dude, one day you're going to be a member of our party. <laughs> um, I know you haven't played it, but there's uh, the... Uh, oh, anyway, that's what happened in, in the D&D. &D yeah. That's basically the story. The Miles Edward uh, Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Oh, also, I cooked bear, bear steak. Like I, my, my character's the only character that can cook, so I cooked a bear steak for the prince. You're sick! And then we went back to the camp, and that was the end of it. Are you always in the habit of barging into your parents' office while they're working? Diva RPG needs more healers. Excuse me. Nobody, won't you roll a cl nobody roll a cleric then, man? If you want, your yeah, arch will have a dire war bear. The yeah. Of your time. I will have the thing of your time. Invite Baring to the D and D and have him have him play the, play the bear. Come now. Are you I fucking serious? I just told the entire story, Floppy Knickers. 
I'm not gonna, I'm not telling it again. You have to rewind this. I'm sorry. That was like a 20 minute story. I'm not gonna. Sorry, man, but. <laughs> Fuck you. The truth is. Hey, so you're trying to see back with the key. What happened? And the guardsman was waking up. Oh, we saw it. Uh, huh? I, uh, oh, so positively. Just fucking with you. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I was like, holy oh, fuck. Oh. Our friend's a hell of a phone call. It was a slip of the tongue. I tell you, I know nothing with this god's damn book. Ah, oh, this poor guy. He just seems to be a poor, you know? Is that so? You gotta fight him over it? Perhaps you like had a company of the academy to prove your instant calls. No. Oh. Meister, shut the fuck up. <laughs> damn it, damn it all to hell. This is a perfect plan for your bloody meddling. I could have had it all. You damn kids. Wait, you have to this fight is, him? This Holy is shit. He's Jesus. huge. Okay, fire, fire, and I what's he weak against? What's, oh, arrow. Yeah, see, it's, it's the green. You you have um you have trade wins, right? As a skill? Uh, emergent skills, trade wins, yeah. He's weak against that. True. Yeah. Uh, and the art in this game is fantastic. It is really fantastic. This is fantastic art. Nobody don't do that. In fact, you can do it because you gotta be the healer in the in the Devo RPG campaign. Yep. Hey, very honest. Have you got like? Do you guys want to stream it, or you want me to like upload it to to the channel if you want? I don't mind doing that. If you guys want to record and upload to the channel, I'll I will. I'll, I mean, I can't play with you. I don't have time. But like, yeah, I can like. Well, they've already get, set up a team. Anyway. I can get your recordings, and we can we can do this. I can, I can put it on the channel if you like. That's like part of the like a, a community wing of the channel or something. Actually. I'll talk to you about it after the stream, man. Two powers activate. Like, who the fuck was that? You hire, you can spend 150 gold and hire a mercenary, and he attacks everyone, and he also gives you a physical d defense boost. <laughs> he actually uses money to win. Fucking, that's stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's, dude, she's a merchant. I know she's a merchant. I get it. I get it. But still. And I guess if you ever wanted to use that, it'd be for a boss battle, right? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool, actually. You fucker. I'm about to heal him. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm definitely healing him now. Let's try this. I feel like that's way too much. Five hundred. Yeah. So it's now it's it's just way too expensive. I'm gonna try attack. Here's what I'm kind of. Oh, is weak. Okay. Here's what I'm kind of worried about. What's that? Like, how hard would this guy be if you You're came here alone? as only Cyrus? Probably terrible. Which means you'd probably have to go and get someone else anyways. Well, no, because you can't leave town until you've beaten Cyrus's quest. But grind. Yeah, I guess, huh? Maybe, they, maybe he, doesn't, he doesn't have those two guys with him. Those two wisps? Maybe yeah, he, yeah. Either he, or maybe he just deals less damage or something. Fuck. What to do? Maybe if I use this against him. No. You have to break that that shield before you can even stun him then. What is the logical course of action? You against ice. Okay, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Oh fuck! Fireball. Oh ice, pass them through. Here I go. You gonna trade with him again? But yeah, you'll break his defense now, so he'll he'll be stunned for a turn. There's a spider on the ground. Look at that guy go. Let's do oh, this. What's up? Tell me, I'll meet that. <laughs> she blew shit. I know she would. 
That's why I mean, most, funny. most like house spiders are usually pretty good to keep around, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try rest. Time for a break. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. It restored all your SP, which is the yeah. important part. Yes. Let's try this. Who has a sword? Hmm? He's weak against swords. Who has a sword? Neither of them. It's not the right class. Shit. It's fine, man. Well, I looked at the warrior and like, I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, the caterpillar menace is mostly done at this point. He's a little bit of a mess. Hey, he's weak against he's weak canes. Weak against canes. Stop, Dave. Canes. Oh, dude, she's almost dead. She's getting the cane right now. Sure is. I'll just let her, uh... Bam! Fuck you. Uh, you sure you use it on the on the fucking wisp? Because the wisp actually is weak to spear. But she's also dealing a lot of damage. What happens if we actually hit three hours? Is it, like, if we're in the middle of a fight and you hit three hours, the game is just like, just you just never set. Just fuck you. <laughs> that would suck. Damn it. Why do you... Oh, dude. Cyrus is going to die. I have, I have revived, by the way. Okay. Never trust That's giant nice. librarians. <laughs> <laughs> never have, never will. You're done. Fuck you. Here I go. You give him like a cane business now? Just one. I'm gonna build up. Fuck off. 33 hours for the stream. It is, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting close. Probably like 20 minutes left. Yeah. Well, Windsor Run, this demo of this game, it basically just turns itself off after three hours. Yeah. So once once the, once the in game timer hits three hours. Me, bastard. Oh no. no, it's fine. I have enough. Oh no. Dude, the next turn is. Oh no, it's him. Okay. Fuck you. No incantations for you. He's back. Yep, it's fine. He's not so hard, actually. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind him. Well, now it's like a battle of attrition, right? Like, you basically have this, you just have to grind it out. Yep. An interesting dilemma. Let's try this. Uh -oh. Let's do this! Man, after seeing like the skills you can learn with, with the JP and stuff, I really want to play this game now. Like that's my bread and butter for an RPG. Final Fantasy V is one of the most underrated RPGs I've ever played in my life. Yeah, it is. It really is. Man, this it, I know it's not worth 70 bucks, but I kinda wanna buy it for 70 bucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wait well, for a sale. I'm gonna I wait mean, for a sale. If, is it is it really cheaper with 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 uh... It can't be, there's no physical copy. It's download only. If you can get it digitally, I don't know. Maybe they have some other agreement. I don't know. No, 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 no. It's not for sale on Amazon, as far as I can tell. It's just that Amazon always gives you a 10% discount on on pre-ordered games if you have Prime. Good job. I didn't. I, didn't, I played butts, not Barts. I played butts too. Yeah. yeah. I played. I played super. He's like, oh, I've been destroyed. I just needed the money. Uh... He's probably not dead. Just, just a few. He's just been vanquished. You've been, you've been, you, you got nailed. No, nope. he's been sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! 
say it is not Dude, so. m remember the shadow discs in Yu-Gi-Oh that would like touch your leg and send you to the shadow realm when they were literally just fucking buzz saws? <laughs> yeah. In the original. Yeah. A grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. Gosh. Dun, dun, dun. It's actually up on US Amazon, is it? Okay, I'll, I'll look. I'll look into it then after the stream. Thank you. We're almost done, anyways. Well, I'll be. You did crack the case. The case of a stolen book. What an original crack title. My butthole. Indeed. Yeah, I'll put this book up there. Oh wait, he sold many books. Probably. <laughs> oh. His names of his business associates. But he's been like selling books out of the library. Purchase them back. You could just take them back because they've been stolen. Well, no, because you'll use Russell's money to purchase them back because they they still got swindled. True. I'll speak to the guards to see that we read all the security archives. Okay. The Virgin sent to the Shadow Realm versus the Chad sent to the stars. So there's another book You're still missing. Let Scoundrel of Scholars steal this one as well. Dude, I missed the, the, the parliamentary library. In the far reaches of hell. He, he did not. It's been for some 15 years now. This is like wild arms. <laughs> so basically, now his question is, is is to travel the world looking for a book. Aggressive borrowing. <laughs> That's a new one. Aggressive borrowing, dude. Yes. Right as always. <laughs> Interplanets and long lost magics. Actually. Single holdest archive volume. Tremendous loss. Garsh. Oh dear. Oh bitch. Oh baby. Oh really? Yeah. Oh really? Now we gotta go deal with the fucking headmaster. Well, He's such a fucking asshole. Because well, what, what's her name? <laughs> what's her name? Ratted us out for something, right? The girl. Who? The princess? No, the other girl, the Mer shy one. Mer That's her. Therese. That, was, that wasn't Therese. Was it? Oh, no. so it was Mercedes. Yeah, sorry. God, I don't know. They're, they're all, they all blend together in one unholy mass. Oh, Teresa found 280. Okay. It's, it's Tressa. Just save it. What, what time are we at, anyway? We got 14 minutes, guys, till this demo self destructs and the switch explodes in our face. Zen <laughs> 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 Master! They say me, Zen Master! I do want to at least finish up Cyrus's quest before we get fucked, you know? That quest for the crest. Alright. We gotta go. Not oh, that one, it's the middle one. Yeah. Hello. Hey, bitch. Enter. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Well, this is a voiced cutscene. Good. Scene. Enter. That's how you know it's important. Fucking Yukon from the Yukon. Shut up with the same old jokes. It's the only one I knew of. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? Headmaster, <clears throat> Harry Potter. Yeah, right. Something Double tells would me never. he's not about to offer a commendation. Mm. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. <laughs> yeah, a report. The first sir? one's always free. The first three. An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into oh, an illicit fuck. relationship. Oh, that with little bitch. Oh. This is why you don't teach women. Wow, Dave. <laughs> Except for the back of your head. You just be like, yeah, I've been fucking the princess in the ass all day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sure. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. It's untrue. Why? It is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. Balderdash! Is that like a board game? I would like to take your words at face value, Professor. Oh, God. This guy's a piece yeah, of shit. He's, Edward, he's probably banging the other girl. Yeah. Oh. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to... Which yeah, she, she told you and you alone. <laughs> Threes couldn't fuck you, so she fucked you instead. <laughs> Princess Mary's good name could be forever something. Yeah, they might, I'm sure. they might name a boat after her. <laughs> that is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. 
sure. Understand. Yeah, I'll leave the village forever. Yeah, I'll leave it. And so what do you intend to do with me? Uh, go to the forest, pull the sword of mana, and get you spells. Resign. <laughs> Sure it is. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. But a resignation. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Of course. Professor Albright is put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation that actually is fair. Own. Yeah. I mean, also you ask him to come back at some point, what? right? Reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Fuck Therese, man. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Yeah. You spoon feed me any easier? Jesus. Yeah, like this. My peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research Dev, here. Dev. Exposition. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 is fuck. That so? It's like I said, there's too much. The, the, the biggest problem with this game is that it really just can't let you figure out a few things on your own. It honestly does treat us like we're little kids. Yeah. And even. But the sad part is, the games that came out when we were little kids are the ones that let you figure things out for yourself. Yeah, they did. Hey, Dev. Mm. This is a good looking game. How about, good, how about that? It is a good looking game. An enigma as ever, that one. Dude, three is underneath that fucking desk. What? Sucking his dick? Probably. Yes, that, that, that was the joke. There's Therese. Professor! Therese. I don't care. She's a pe This oh, is where he, like, Therese. destroys her with what a fucking fireball. Probably. I... I heard that you were leaving the academy. Baby's first exposition. Then you heard true. Professor, I'm, I'm so sorry. You lied. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You, you knew? It's pretty fucking obvious. This is when he should backhand her? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? The gameplay is pretty fun too. It is good. The like battle system is really good. Her highness, answering her every question. She's the fucking princess. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. You know, you could have, you could talk like more after class. Oh my god! This is the most the high school shit. What well, is a high school? They're they're obviously kids. Yes, but I not not him, but like the, the girls. Uh, it teams. might be a call. It might be a college. It might be like eighteen or nineteen. I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. So you, you made a rumor that you were fucking the princess. I nope, I won't. It's like no, I will not. Worry not, my dear. It just oh, so fuck it. Was you cock. Yeah, he did just cuck out, didn't he? No, I'd be like, you can go fuck yourself. I'm not teaching you anything. For some time ever. now, I wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter. Uh, I know, we've heard about it five times. Who wrote this fucking dialogue? So let's, let's look it up. My girl. Probably some grass-eating male. <laughs> grass-eating male? Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. What? I, I did, in fact, fuck the Indeed, princess. I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not... This guy's... No! Position. This guy just bends over for her, I he guess. He is just cocking to... Um, okay, look, if she... If she felt that bad, she should have been honest enough with him. Yeah. That is horseshit. Professor, whatever 
forward to you? Shut up, bitch. If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies. <laughs> yeah, she was she was hoping to bang him, and he's like, "No, you're you want to study, don't you?" Your Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. I do like how he's basically fucking asexual. Yeah. Well, or he's just not interested. Or he's just very, very dull and can't see that she's trying to flirt with him. You realize that people, like guys, can be really obtuse, but like, I, I've had women interested in me and I haven't noticed at all. Um, Professor? You're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. <laughs> 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 Never mind. So you insult the guy, and yet you don't explain yourself. Like, what is he, a harem anime protagonist? Case, he pretty much is. Should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Shut up, you goddamn worthless cuckman. Well, bam. Yes, professor. Nope. Provided we both still live. Hint, hint. You're gonna die, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just waiting for him to walk off into the sunset and you just see the flames engulf the entire town. <laughs> <laughs> what time are we at? Oh, it's gotta be almost done by now. Well, check out the timer, man. You're in the fucking... You can control it. Oh, you can just... Isn't it just on your menu? Probably, but I want to. Oh, there's an autosave. <laughs> really? I think just like just in case you accidentally reset or something. Oh, we're setting. Yeah. <laughs> we got four minutes. Okay, let, for the last four minutes of the game, let's just head out into into the wilderness and fight until the game just shuts itself off. So, what do you actually think of this game, Dave? Um, I would really like it if they had conversations that ended after you know four or five speech bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Like. Final Fantasy VI. Oh, come on. Now, I must find out my erstwhile colleague. This. Too yeah. many cutscenes. Yep. Last I heard, she sojourned in I mean, this is set up, so it's not as bad, but still. Yeah. Okay, he wants to go to Quarry Quest. Fine, we're going to go to Quarry Quest. Crest. Anyway, Crest. Whatever. Anyway. Oh, who's that? You know it's Therese. You know she's stalking him. Huh? And so Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost home. Purchase of hell, but that's actually my biggest hole, and the gods know. Great! So. <laughs> Only the crystals do. In Final Shimmering Fan quietly. <laughs> Shut up. In Final Fantasy VI or whatever, cutscenes of this length were set, were like saved for like like the ends of an arc or something. Major, you know? yeah. major. It wasn't thing. just every single fucking little piece that's of another, whatever. That's a whole minute. A whole minute to go through his other yeah. cutscene. Yeah. Bunch of asshole. Oh fuck. I've done my research on you. <laughs> I've done. Yeah, I was vulnerable to ice as well. So it's just a situation where they could have really cut down the cutscenes. This would it would have been like a top tier game, in my opinion. No, this is, yeah, second, it's definitely yeah. second. And you know what? The Tales games did it better because the Tales games included all that extra shit that has optional side cutscenes. You like press select or whatever and it brings up like the, the thing. Yep. And they start talking about it. Optional. Those are optional cutscenes. Optional is good. You can skip them. Optional is like, very if you, good. If you're like a, a major Tales fan or you're playing it by yourself and you want to actually just get engrossed in the game. Well, that's what I did with Symphonia. I, I, I watched every pretty much single, al almost every single one. Yeah, because you want to know about it. But like, if you're yeah, playing with other people or you're kind of in a rush, or you, you just want to get the game less, done. If you're doing a Let's Play, it's, it just makes no sense. Yeah. But this? Well, unless you're like hitting certain ones that like unlock side quests. Well, yeah. But, like, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. But you can usually tell. Not necessarily. In Symphonia, it was kind of like you had to like hunt them out. It was weird. Mm, I suppose. But yeah, but I don't, uh, Vesperia is probably one of those ones that just... You know, it just lets you. What the fuck? Why is it all localized maps? <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's no world map in this game. It's just like Mario style map to map to map to map. To map. Weird. No, I, th I like it. My turn 
You like way too much. I'm sorry that I like things better. You should be. Should I? Yeah. Why? Because it, it, it weakens you. Does it? Yeah, it makes you a cuck. Like this that's, guy. That's like, <laughs> like this, like this that's bastard. That's ridiculously stupid of you. Thank you, Dev. I, I knew that you'd react that way. Do you have any shadow way. magic? Because that just seems like he's weak to shadow. I do not. Then how, how do we know he's weak to shadow? Uh, he has the analyze thing. Oh, we just learn it. Yeah. Naturally. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I think it's three hours in total. It'll be three. I think it'll cut out soon. But yeah, basically, uh, this game would be like a top tier JRPG if it if it had better, not not even better, just more concise writing. Meep, meep. Because you know what, the writing's actually decent quality, it's just that there's so fucking much of it. It just says the same thing over and 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 over. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Yeah. This guy just keeps, keeps looking at the damn book. Look at the damn book. Look at the damn map, you fuck. Save. Okay. That's fine. We're at three now. <laughs> three hours exactly. Well, wait, what happens now? Shouldn't the game shut off? It's probably gonna shut off any time. Oh! You cannot proceed beyond here in the demo Wait. version. Wait, is it because we've played for three hours and now it's like, nope? Does that mean I can actually level up here? Maybe, just try, try to go to another, another map. All of the life. Can you go this way? We can. It's gonna cut off. Ah, oh, there it is. Thank you for playing. Three hours of playtime have passed, which brings us to the end of this demo. But not the end of your adventure. You can carry your saved data over to the full game to pick up where you left off. What wonders, what dangers, what adventures await in the vast world that lies beyond. Okay, it seems like a lot of the game is present in this, so if someone can hack the shit out of this and just play the whole thing. Yeah. It's, sure. pro it's probably gonna happen. Yeah, before, before oh, the it's game gonna comes happen, out. yeah. Okay, okay. Well, well that's Wait, it. What does B do? Just bring it back to the cut. Yeah, it's probably gonna bring it well, back. Press it anyway. We'll go back to the Let's go to. This, this we haven't even seen the fucking eye catch, so shut up. Yes. <laughs> Time up. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Loading the system data. Yeah, just leave it here. No, just leave it here. Because you, I didn't get a chance to see this last time, and you were like, oh, I don't fucking care. That's because I knew there was a time limit, Dev. But it looks, no, dude, it only starts when you start the game. Yes, but you, you, there's a time limit for us as well. I have time limit for you to fucking survive. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> this game is so beautiful, dude. It is a, it's a gorgeous game. It's well designed in a lot of ways. It just needs to, you know, give its balls a tug and. You know, Stop me. saying dumb inside jokes that no one gets. <sighs> Everyone gets it now because it's me. I'm I'm the trendsetter. Wow, this guy's a fucking <laughs> retard. I just do want to say, guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dev, I've heard some things come out of your mouth. This anyways, anyways, incredible. this isn't about us being idiots to each other. It's about this game looking great and playing pretty well. Just maybe cut down on the conversations. Yeah, I don't, like the, 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 I don't. I don't. Too quite... many cutscenes. Yeah, way too many cutscenes. If we're playing this for real, we're definitely gonna have to just probably talk through a lot of the stuff because at least you can read it. I mean, guys, in my opinion, if you're looking to buy this, wait for a sale. Dave is the one six. Yeah, no, no, that's no, that's Jordan. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. If, if you're looking to buy this, wait for a sale. I don't think it's worth a seventy dollar Canadian price tag. I think it's sixty in the states. It's not worth that. It's not worth 60 50 bucks. tops. You know what? Wait, wait. Like, in my opinion, this is a $40 game. Do not buy it full price. But it's a good game, though. And when I, we're not going to play it when it comes out next month. But when it does go on sale, I'm picking it up, and I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. And maybe we will play it if, once it goes on sale. I don't know. On the show, I mean. Maybe. Who knows? I want to. It's you good. I, I really, like, the gameplay alone is, the, the, the fighting and everything is, I think it's great. Oh, awesome. I'm not right. playing this game because it's a shitty Switch exclusive. Well, you're, maybe you're just butthurt because you don't have the, the, you know, the master console. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, guys, <laughs> we'll see you later. That was the Octopath Traveler demo. Woohoo!